truth isn't what it seems Taking me so damn long, it's fading from belief Okay, welcome back to my video and also happy Halloween everyone happy November 1st or November the 2nd depending on the time that I'm gonna upload this for now on this video I'll be showing you the coordinate item that I managed to get through the email that Grunchy's classic give us as you can see this is my main character the battle mage and it's level 85 and this is my liar last some of them are for job some of them are not yet for job because I decided to stop the game after Ami release, yeah, and Ami is only on Siren, but on my Grand Chase PH Classic, uh, on Grand Chase PH that I played, I was meaning Ronan, the third job, and uh, I decided to main army here because I do find the AoE and the map clearing of the fourth four skill of army is very nice to play with, and that and has a very easy dodgeable dash that you can dodge throughout those enemies that you're gonna face and I do know the up down Z spam that he managed to do on the ledge guards as you can see this is the cordy that I managed to get and I decided to use it on my army since as you can see I do have some what they call this one gacha items that I use that they give us on the free BPs on the launch of the Grand Chase classic and I didn't even manage to get the dragon that I was that I managed to get when I was still playing on Grand Chase PH but I'll be showing you the other that's just the cordine, cordine, the costume but they also give us a pet you'll see it on Sigurd and I'll be trans uh, what do you call this one transferring this pet depending on the character that I'm gonna use since this pet is quite nice but it doesn't give that much um, MP when you use the skill compared to other pets that really gives out a ton of MP when being used. As you can see I'm creating a room for the Altar of Judgment because I'm going to do this solo and this is the pet that I was talking about. As you can see the name of the pet is Princeon. It's a very nice dragon and has the skill Frostbreath and it's still level 4. Okay let's start the run. We'll be tackling the Altar of Judgment for this video and I'll be doing it in solo. As you can see in the previous um, part that I did, I show you the Ocardene, the free costume and the free pet that they gave us. I never thought that Grand Chase Classic will give us some free pet. It's kind of nice for them. The, and they also have a free necklace, Halloween necklace. But you need to log in for the 15 days before the November 11 or November 15, the end of Somewhere around November, that will be the expiration until you cannot get the free necklace. But anyway, I'm using Ares, the third job for this one. The mechanics of the Altar of Judgment is if you don't jump for quite often, then you will have a debuff that will deal 2 damage every seconds. Not every seconds, but milliseconds. So this, that will wrap up the the damage for that's gonna happen in your character. And some of the enemies here have a lot of frozen traits and they can freeze you. On these videos, I managed to fuck uh, I'm not, I managed to f up everything. I'm trying not to be what they call this one demonetized, so I can spread up the channel for the um content for my grand chase. So I'll try avoiding some slurs. And what they call this one? There are the tiger that can freeze you, and there's a dragon that can also freeze you. But the freeze of the tigers are. Not the one that you need to pick a button down left right and left right But it will make you stunned and won't be able to do anything unless you What they call this one? Let your MP bar cancel you If you know all of that one When you're holding one, hold, holding down Z to search one MP bar then If one attack manages to connect Then you'll get cancelled You can see the pet skill there The pet skill of that they give us for this Cordy is quite nice it deals quite a lot of damage. I don't know how big damage can it improve, but the targeting system for the pet is what they call this one. You need to be um many inch. How many two inch um away from the opponents or one inch? So you can fully damage the enemy that you're targeting with the pet skill. Fun thing about this one, um I managed to unlock the the changed weapon. I managed to Finish the 1,100, uh, 1,000, 1,000 enemy that you need to kill below, below two levels or above two levels. So basically, I will use it the second, um, the change weapon on the second part of the video. 
this is the platforming for the game. Grunchies has also the platforming, and this one is not very difficult if you're using a Ares. As you can see, I'm using the float mechanics of Ares, the up Z. So basically, I can fully cheese the <laughs> fully cheese the jumping mechanics of any Grunchies map that I can encounter. And here comes the mini boss. I managed to F up here. I do a lot of mistakes when fighting this boss and also the mi um, mini boss and also the boss. You will see I managed to. Um, what do you call this one? Uh, there's. Um, I managed to time all of my skill wrong. And as you can see, I managed to get stuck during the tiger. And I thought I already have the third bar, so I can truly spam my third skill, but I didn't even expect that I will mess it up, so that's why I didn't manage to kill the boss that fast. And the boss keep punish the boss keep hitting me. Despite me um using a lot of skill already and the tiger is hindering me because it has a stun mechanics if you get stuck in the roar, then you will won't be able to move and the other mobs of the mini boss will hit you. So basically there is a team effort to beat me. Anyway, we're on the boss now. You will see this this boss is very, very, very tricky. First off, remember that you need to keep on jumping to not be debuffed. And also, he has that laser attack that goes um, 360 around him. Her? Or him? I don't know, but the boss is on the top. As you can see, he has this curse of fate. If you manage to get the yellow one, then you, every time you hit the boss, he will um, you will regain a MP. Uh, HP, HP, HP. And that one, put that, uh, that psyche, um, that ank, something like that one. That's a new mechanic for the boss where you can see where where the the danger zone will appear because previously when I was playing this and a lot of my character for third um for job quest you won't be able to see all of the, um those indicator that the the instant kill will go to the left or right and as you can see that warning I forgot about that one because it took me a while before I managed to relearn everything. But that one is a lunatic force that you run and uses if you're very close to him and you didn't even manage to um, pay attention for that attack. It's a guaranteed kill. No matter what you do, you won't be you won't be able to kill yourself for that damage because that's a, that damage is instant and that's a lot of lunatic force that's gonna hit you. But anyway, I managed to kill the boss for the altar of judgment and. As you can, as you know, I'll be fast forwarding the second video, second part of the video. But this is a solo run, and I managed to improve my time for about two seconds. I'll see you guys again, hopefully, and then the next dungeon is gonna be the very hard wonder period. But I did manage to do some recordings where I cleared it with uh, three people, so that will be a short one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing seeing you guys again. And happy Halloween! Bye guys, and enjoy the video! Let's get this going.
break. Need a break. Oh, managed to live. Oh, my God.